So we're working on the Mila Novatronic uh, W1986. And today we're going to be cleaning the coin trap and also the filters on the back. I'm going to open this up so we're going to get this little tool out. It lives inside the dispenser. We can use that to pry this open. And then we have a little drain here. When we undo this, the water is going to come out. Once we've loosened up the coin trap, we can reach in there and grab anything that might be messing up the drain. Here we found a little dime. Probably has been in there for years. We'll clean it all out and then we're just gonna put that back in and turn to the right as far as you can go until it just stops turning. And it'll be kind of an abrupt stop. And then you can just close this and that should prevent any water from leaking out. So now we're going to go to cleaning the little filters that are, there's one in here, right, right when you remove the hose, and then there's one here underneath this part of the hose. This is on the hot side, so we turned off the hot water with the faucet. We're loosening this. Usually you have to start with pliers maybe to loosen it up, and we'll get that out of the way. And then there's a little filter in there you can pull out. You can use a pair of pliers. There's a plastic tab you can grab onto and then just grip it and then pull it all the way out. We can see this hot water site's pretty dirty. I'd say it's about 50% occluded. So we're just gonna take an old toothbrush and run it underneath the water and get all these little particles out of the holes and then we'll have very good uh, water flow and actually it'll speed up the wash cycle. And um, you, know, you can actually hear a difference in how fast the water comes in. So I'm just using water and this brush to knock out these particles and get this little plastic filter very clean. And then after that, I'll pop it back in and just tighten everything up. And then we'll do the same thing on the cold water side too. So probably just once a year is, is good to do this, unless you know that you know, your particular water system has a lot of debris, and then maybe you could do it every quarter. But it does help, and you may even get an error on your Mila washing machine that says that it's not getting enough water, and this usually fixes it. Usually you don't have to get new water valves. So this is the cold side. We removed the hose. We checked it, the hose itself. It looked good. We're gonna grab that filter with the pliers and just pull that out. And this one doesn't look as bad, maybe 30% occluded. So we're gonna get that underneath some water, knock out all the particles with our brush, and then we'll put that all back in and start it up. And when we tested it, we noticed that uh, after starting it back up that you can actually hear the water flow in a lot faster. So that should speed up all of your washing cycles. So we're just gonna push that all the way in as far as it will go and then we can add the hose back on. You wanna make sure you don't cross thread this. So it should go on very easily when you start to spin it to the right, righty tighty. You should notice it goes on easily. If it goes on with taking a lot of pressure, you probably have it cross threaded. So now we're testing it out. We can hear the water flowing really good and that fixed it. 